Hi, my name's Georgina Burnett and I'm a personal trainer and a life coach. I help people with their health and fitness goals and I give them tips to keep them motivated. Today, I'm gonna to be giving you some tips and exercises to help you with your fitness. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to get skinny arms. Now, it's really important to be aware of your particular body type. If you're born an endomorph, which means you're predisposed to fat, then it's going to be very difficult to become a skinny person, which is an ectomorph, where they're naturally skinny like that. What you can do, though, is make the most of what you have and maybe bring yourself into the mesomorph stage where you're more muscly, which means you'll be toned and have a better appearance. To turn your arms, you really need to use some kind of weight. Now, you don't have to have an expensive weight. You could use something from the kitchen, like a bottle or a can. The first exercise starts with your arms at a right angle to your shoulders. You want to lift up slowly and controlled, remembering to breathe. You want to do eight to 12 repetitions of this and then have a rest. As your strength increases, you can increase the repetitions or the sets. The next exercise, you stand with your feet together but your knees slightly bent and lift the weights up to the top here. Make sure that your elbows are coming nice and high. A bicep curl is a great way to wet the biceps. Have your arm next to the side of your body, keep your elbow in close and lift that weight up to the top. Remember this needs to be a controlled movement and you need to keep breathing. Press-ups are a great way of exercising both your arms, your shoulders and your chest. For a traditional press-up, all you need to do is have your hands at shoulder width apart or slightly wider to make it easier and making sure that you keep your back straight. Always keep your core strong whilst doing this exercise. Bring yourself down steadily and back up again. Never rush this. If you find that that's too difficult for you, then you can go down on your knees, but remember to keep your form. So for a traditional press up, what you want to do is have your hands either at shoulder width apart or slightly wider apart to make it easier. Go up on your toes and come down. Make sure that your body is straight and that you keep your core strong. Now for a, an easier version of this, if you find that too difficult, come down on your knees. So lift your feet up at the back. Again, keep that back straight, keep that core strong and go down. Remember this needs to be nice and steady and you're breathing throughout the exercise. To tone the backs of your arms, the best exercise is using a bench. Now, either a gym bench or you can use a, a table or a chair and you want to lean against it with both hands on the edge of the bench. You bring your legs out in front of you, bring your heels down to the floor and then dip down. You want to keep your bottom nice and close to that bench as you do it. Because you use your arms all the time, you want to make sure you stretch each time you exercise them. This will help to lengthen the muscles, but also reduce the amount of muscle pain that you feel the next day or two days later. So for the triceps, what you want to do is hold your arm above you and just take your other hand below the elbow and push back, bringing your hand down at the back there. You should feel a stretch along the back of the tops of the arms. These arm exercises also use your shoulders, so again, you need to stretch your shoulders. Bring your arms straight out in front of you and across your body, put your other hand just above the elbow and press it in. You should feel a stretch all the way around your shoulder. Because you use your arms all the time, it's really important to stretch them after you've been exercising them. This will lengthen the muscle, but will also reduce the amount of muscle pain you feel later on. Go to Video Jug and find some of our stretches videos to find out which ones you can use.